Okay, I think our sound's bad. <laughs> I, I, the amount of times that I've been muted for these intros is upsettingly high. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am the Virtual Alchemist Sylvana Garrick. Welcome to the Potion Shop. And I am here with the very... Green <laughs> Shampoo. I am a very handsome girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Hi, it's a Hi. <laughs> I was so, so upset. Here's the... Uh. Anyway, we're, we're here. <laughs> we're going to be playing King of the Castle. Uh, like we do on Rainer Stream. Except this time I am going to be the um, ruler this time. He wants a tiara. I would like a tiara, please, if you have one. Mm. Yeah, one second. Yeah. So this is going to be my first time playing as the monarch. I feel like this is going to be, um, compared to like when you play, I feel like... Hmm? Mm. Would you give me a tiara? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta put this in it's the like VTuber. The mm -hmm. it, it's like it's like the Princess Diana to you. <laughs> I like I like it. Hold on, let me go get it. Ignore every ignore all this. Hold on. If you didn't move to, I told you to change the capture method. Use the last CPU. I did. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that. No, Spout Two is supposed to hide the interface. It is. Yes. I thought I turned the option on. <laughs> I didn't. Did you actually change the source? Did I? Um. Maybe I don't know. You didn't. I don't know how to do that. You gotta. All oh, right, I forgot. I I, I remember why. Hmm. Mm. You use two PCs, right? Um, is that why? No, I only use one. Oh, okay, then you have no excuse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna fix that later. Yeah, yeah. I'm like very speedily trying to put this tiara into YouTube Studio. You can just drop it into the window, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. I know that. I, won't I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've told me, I know that. Uh. <gasps> Just took my mango bread out of the oven ten minutes ago. Great timing. I want, I want mango bread. Oh my god, it's perfect. <laughs> hi, hi everyone. You're a very pretty princess. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen the um have you seen like that uh matt like uh when um when like matt mercer and everybody at a oh. role were playing prettiest princess oh my god i love that video <laughs> yeah <laughs> prettiest princess <laughs> i'm princess sylvan yeah so i'm princess sylvan yeah. today yeah hello <gasps> oh hi welcome, Fumi, welcome. Oh, you haven't played this with us yet, have you? Oh no, you were here last time, I think. Yeah, <gasps> it's fun. Yeah, this is gonna be my first time playing as as the monarch today, so mm -hmm. it should be pretty easy for you guys to win this time. I but don't know, you might win. Your we'll luck stat is pretty high. It is pretty high. I feel like I'll do good mm -hmm. with like RNG stuff. Yeah, right. I'm not going to advise. I'm here to work against you and also also laugh and <laughs> commentate mm -hmm. <laughs> all right all right hold on let's go and switch the game <gasps> nice okay nice my mark name is gonna be oh cute thank you i didn't know you could have pink hair in this game yeah it's like the closest i can get to um <laughs> my actual hair mm -hmm. Sylvain? Yeah. Sylvain. Oh. Uh, making it sound more fancy. You did the same thing. <laughs> that, that, that's actually my full name. Is it really? 
I mean, I mean, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was totally <laughs> to make it fancier. Mm hmm And I'm gonna name it the Chanterelle Dynasty. Oh, that's fancy. Thank you. I know that's the name of a mushroom, but that's still fancy. It is. It's one of my favorite mushrooms. Are you wearing a dress? That's cute. It's oh, kind I, of a dress. I, we have the same dress. <laughs> Are we? Hold on. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I think it is. You're right. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. <laughs> so it's party game mode, right? Yeah, party game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, in which region should we pick? Um, I know you really like the counts. Uh, hold on one second. didn't pick, like, that, uh, I didn't pick. Uh, oh, which regions? You should, maybe, like, you should pick the regions that I didn't pick. Oh, uh, okay. Like, the Grandees and the Barons. And then... So, I and do... then I guess you can pick whichever you one you like the best. Maybe. I'll put the Patricians in, because I feel like you fit them pretty well. I do, I do like the petitions, but I don't know if I'll actually be assigned to them. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Okay, we just need to wait for people to trickle in. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, very... oh, you gotta show the room code. <gasps> oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. And I also gotta make a message, huh? Yeah, you should make a pin message because people are gonna be like, How do I do a game? Even though it's right there. Oh, join the game at www. Polar. Nice. <gasps> I'm a baron. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I'll pin this message. There we go. Yay. Oh no, it's not. Uh oh. Hmm? Mm, nothing. If we don't get enough, um, people will, will switch to different game. Mm hmm. We'll see, we'll see. What did you want to play? I kind of want to play Project Zomblade. <laughs> we were playing it last night and I was having a lot of fun. Yeah. We, we didn't realize what time it was. Oh gosh, yeah. It, mm -hmm. It's funny because I made it like super easy. Yeah, but that's what makes it fun. I guess so. Sometimes it's nice to not be challenged from time to time. I, I like killing zombies <laughs> without like worrying I about know you dying. Do. Didn't you like get bitten though? I did get bitten, but it wasn't like an affected bite, so I'm fine. Uh, isn't it? If you're bitten, doesn't that mean you're already infected? No, it w it was a scratch. It was I got scratched on my neck and it was bleeding and out. Then, uh, Cause like you squeaked like maybe like five <laughs> times while we were playing. Cause I got I, there were so many zombies. Uh, let me try kotc dot app instead. Oh, it looks like the website is down. What? I was like checking on it to see if I could connect to it. Oh, I'm in it. That's... I don't think you add the... Ooh, Lila's here. Oh, never mind. Okay. No, it's up. It's working. Oh. It's working. I was wrong. I don't know. Oh, Rob's oh. Pierre joined the patricians. Welcome, welcome. Nice. Uh... Oh. Should we go ahead and start? Oh, you might want to put turn on balance all low noble votes if we don't get enough people. Okay, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. You guys can also join if, um, like, even in the middle of the game. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. yeah. 
There's Oliver. <gasps> Oliver, welcome. Hi. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's begin. Do -do 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 -do. I'm not here. Yes, we. You are. I see you. Uh, I know how to play. I don't need a tutorial. Uh, maybe we should still read it to the audience. Uh, uh okay. It's too late. <laughs> okay, because there might be people who don't know how to play. Let's try and think about them. <laughs> well, it's mostly it's mostly our regulars. We're fine. We'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. So I guess the first one is things. coronation. Holes all around. This is your monarch, the main player's character. Will appear in most stories, but not all. Kingdom stats. I just realized the nation is my colors. Region stats. Mm hmm. Let's go. Okay, we, we, we'll figure can, it out. You know, you can just close the window, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> your Majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Oh, uh, shouldn't I be giving the orders now? Uh, of course, Your Majesty, but to delay any longer would make the nobles restless. And when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest pack. Hmm. They wouldn't do that to me. Uh, you should pay more attention to your history books, Your Majesty. The nobles are mm -hmm. always plotting something. Mm -hmm. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. Of course, yes. <laughs> I've seen this happen. Uh, shall we call the nobles in? Okay. So this is the first vote, you guys. Uh, not all cho choices of change stats have these indicators, and they do not show the region affected. Okay. River. Is... <laughs> no, I please don't do the river. <laughs> river. Actually, river. hold on. We fight for the... I don't want to do that one, actually. You guys can do river, just don't take my money. Okay. Mm. Oh wait, there's two options to take away money. Shoot. Wait, no, 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 no! Okay! <laughs> Guys, we can't have the kingdom go broke already. Let's go! Please, throw me in the river. Throw me in the river. Please. No! <laughs> Vote A. Hold on, is, is there no music? Can you guys hear, like, music for the... Hold on a minute, let me see. No. Okay, I think I might have. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Is that everyone? Is wait. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's like a third of the treasury. Why would you guys do that? Uh, the coronation is a great success. Jugglers, wine, fireworks, and feasts. It has an impact on your treasury, of we course. Right into the but what river. doesn't? That's I would have disrespectful. No, I would. I <laughs> I want you to throw me in the river. Uh. Council introduction. <laughs> one of more, one or more of your regions has no nobles, though. Oh, huh? Uh oh. <gasps> oh no. Someone log out. Sometimes people disconnect. I've, yeah. I've seen it happen. Yeah. They have to reconnect. Yeah. We'll just wait a second. Sorry, I couldn't vote in time. I'm dying right now. I ate something moderately spicy, but my lip is bleeding, so my lip burns. Be careful. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Drink milk. Drink milk, please. Yeah. Or ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> or sour cream. <laughs> or yogurt. Cottage cheese. <laughs> Milkshake. Milkshake <laughs> counts as ice cream. No, it doesn't. It's milkshake. Milkshake is ice Different. cream. Milkshake's just an ice cream smoothie. It's my lip, not my mouth. Oh, you just kind of like make sure that um your lips are in the line of fire. 
and you like drink it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You put milkshake in the freezer and it turns into ice cream. Yeah, exactly. That's how they make ice cream. No. <laughs> yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Trust me, I'm an alchemist. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, no? No, just no. <laughs> Milkshake is ice cream gaslit into believing it's a beverage. Milkshakes no, are- No, it's just like really, really thick milk. Milkshakes are just ice cream soup that you drink. No? <laughs> no? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why can't a milkshake be soup? Because it's not hot. Soup doesn't have to be hot. Gazpacho is not hot. It isn't? No. Oh, okay. Check oh. Checkmate. Milkshake is soup. No, it's a beverage. Milkshake is a soup. Does that mean soda is a soup? Why are you... <laughs> It depends. It depends on the soda. If you... Okay, so is an ice cream float a soup? A soda float? Is it a soup? Yes, I think. Is tea soup? You gotta heat up the ingredient to make it a soup? So, okay. so then what's borscht? I think you boil beets though. But if I if I boil oh, ice cream, would that make it a soup? Isn't that like a cream stew? Is a milkshake a seal? <laughs> Why do we end up having this conversation? We're we're waiting. <laughs> we're waiting. We're waiting. Uh egg rolls are a sandwich though. Are they burritos? Burritos are also a sandwich. Are hot dogs a taco or a sandwich? Tacos are sandwiches. Sandwich. Most foods are sandwiches, I'm pretty sure. Mm. <laughs> a pizza a sandwich? No, but a calzone is. Why? But but isn't it a calzone just a pizza that's folded over? Yeah. That's what makes it a sandwich. No! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Pop-Tart is a ravioli? Yeah, that's true. Mm. They're like fruit ravioli. Does that mean wontons are ravioli? Yes, wontons are a ravioli. Bon mi is a sandwich. Does that mean, does that mean like calzones are a ravioli? No, okay. Maybe. <laughs> are empanadas a ravioli? Empanadas are... Empanadas are a ravioli, yeah. So, why did you hesitate on calzones? Aren't calzones just a really big empanada? I had to think about it for a second. Bon mi? Bon mi is a sandwich. Bon mi is a sandwich. I had a bon mi for lunch today. <laughs> ah! Is spaghetti a soup? Spaghetti is noodles. It's a deconstructed ravioli. Yes. Yes? Yeah. I agree with that. That makes sense to me. <laughs> We should, we should make a tier list of just like, if something's a ravioli, a sandwich, or a soup, oh, me. and then like just sort, sort oh, foods into it. Oh, like the bread. Oh, he bought me is the bread, I remember. Hmm? But like, when you eat it, but like, the thing is, because bun me is a bread, that means anything you eat it with automatically becomes a sandwich. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you, like, have a bread on the side, that becomes a sandwich. 
An mi boko is. No, it has to be in. It has to be in the bread. Yeah, you like layer it on the bread. You just put it on top of the bread and you dip it. What if you only use half of the banh mi? Is that still a sandwich? Yes. Yeah. It all becomes a sandwich. Also, I'm half Vietnamese, so. <laughs> Should we switch to the other game? Uh. Okay, wait, but. Hold on, this is an important conversation. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep this conversation going. Isn't that a. Oh, hey, there's people! Oh. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're all here. Good, good. Okay, you're gonna meet people. <laughs> uh, let's meet the patricians first. And we'll scale from all across the kingdom. The wealthy coast, the scorching south, and of course, the bleak march. Uh -oh. A pleasure, your esteemed highness. Whoa. I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. Here looks good. Yeah, I think that's, um, I think that's a trial. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lila. May the Knights God oh. bless your reign, your holiness. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. And then Barons of the Marsh, I feel like this is gonna be you. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Premium! Premium player. Hail and well met. Oh wait, banner. you should read this, you should read this. Hail and well met, your highness. Under your leadership, we'll whip this kingdom to shape, hmm? Mm-hmm. I look so... You look, smug. <laughs> you look very handsome. It's very in character for you. <laughs> the council hall, meaning fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You saw and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. One of you guys are gonna kill me. You know it. All of us are. I know, but only one person will. The mar monarch must acquire an heir and complete their ambition to win the game. The spouse is useful, but not necessary. Good to know. Your majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. You're new okay. and unproven. The nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Anyways. To defeat their <laughs> schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is this. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Uh, let's go for... Hmm. What are your highest stats? I think my highest is faith. It's like a, it's like a tie between faith and trade. I think I'll do. Also, if you know, I I just noticed that the colors of the factions are stoplight colors. I know, red, yellow, green. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Or Brazilian barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll go for stability. I feel like that'll be the easiest one. <laughs> I don't like- I don't like that. Uh, an admirable aim. I suggest over the next few years you focus on proving the kingdom's stability as much as possible. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. Okay. End season. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. Schemes are made out cool. of three stages with specific stat requirements. Passing all three scheme stages places the region's claimant on the throne, winning the game. Alright. This is Oliver. Uh, Otto of Otto the- Otto of the- <laughs> Wait, is this Oliver? Or someone else? <laughs> it is Otto Oliver. of the Oliver blood mm -hmm. Notorious Marcher Elder stands for a blazing hearth, roaring with arms outstretched. When have the barons of the march backed down from a fight? Never. I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful king, on the throne. Nice. Nice, nice. Need some water. Nice. Let's 
pretzel and I, I must- I love propaganda. <laughs> propaganda? <laughs> Loading has closed. To lower civility? No! Yeah, let's go! The Baron's plan to persuade the population that only a charismatic general can protect them. First, the common folk must be afraid. To advance her scheme, the Baron's must lower civility to four or less in three seasons. Well, I just won't let you do that. Uh, Ezra of the Connie lineage, notorious southern elder, stands with bays and sunshine, oh, joining on okay. as in a daze. Everyone's so pretty in this game, I don't know why. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. <gasps> I think you should pick A, Grandies. I think you should pick C. C would be very helpful, I think. A would be very fun, I think. No, pick C. Pick C. Right here. This oh, one. Pick, pick A. You know you want to. You know you want to. No, Lila, you, please. You know you <laughs> Lila, 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 Lila. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Thank you, Connie. Thank you. Oh, shoot. No. Who's it gonna be, though? Do I choose? Do I choose? No, you don't. Yes! It's gonna be the first. What? Thank you. No! Thank you. It's my luck stat. Thank you, guys. The Grandies plan to hold the monarch hostage at their own palace. Okay. First, they must lull the spymaster into a false sense of security. Nice. To advance their scheme, Hostiles. the Grandies must raise stability to five or more in four seasons. It'll be a really short stream if you guys lower <laughs> my stability too much. Nick, so the Ropes Pierre family. Infamous business mogul scribbles with a well used quill on a hardwood desk, explaining in measured prose. Fellow like a math Jesus. <laughs> a math Jesus? Mask Jesus. Oh, math Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fellow patricians of the coast. My claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of monarch Sylvain. Something must be done. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think you should. You should pick not pick B. B. You should not pick B. You should B. pick B. No. Okay. Wait. Listen, you I guys. Think B should be fun. These stats up here. If you lower them to zero, we all lose. Just so you guys know. So we don't want them to get too low, please. It's okay. We'll just do it just enough to survive. Oh. Okay. That's good. Boo. Thank you guys for not bullying me. The patricians plan to privatize, privatize this entire kingdom. First, they must build up their industry. To advance their scheme, the patricians must raise trade to five or more in four seasons. You guys are already done. <laughs> <laughs> Here you can review the region's schemes and their claimants. When you have an heir, they will appear on the right of this page. If your, en if your reign ends abruptly, the nobles will vote for the next monarch. This vote is between two regions with the highest combined stats in your heir, if you have one. Oh, I see. So as long as I have an heir, even if you guys complete your schemes, I could still win. Here you can adopt a new law that alters how voting is run. You'll be able to adopt more once a year at the end of winter. You can only adopt one new law at a time and have a maximum of three laws to use. I see. I will pick. Yeah, if this you have one. an heir. If you have an I will have an heir. What do you mean? If you have an heir. Oh. Alright. Let's deal with the patricians first. Hold on to your masks, hats, and other accessories, everyone. Baroness Chapeau is about to lose a huge amount of money. Excuse me? Interesting, interesting. We've bet our life savings on a boat race around the coast, and I am sure to win the day. So sure, in fact, that I petitioned the council to officially sponsor my voyage. Oh, what makes you so sure? You that dare steal money <laughs> from the great Baron Chapeau? Desk below, your esteemed highness. Desk below, your esteemed highness. I'm a petition. We've practically learned to sail before we can talk. Walk. He's talking rubbish, my liege. 
My nice little cog will easily outstrip Robespierre, Robespierre's old boat. If you sponsor anyone, sponsor me. Oh. You should sponsor me. I will... Hmm. I have a good feeling about you, actually. So, there's a reward if anybody votes for B. You guys will get more money. Good. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this I one. Know. Not this one. <laughs> actually, no. I, I we should have made you. We should have made you bet on both. Actually, <laughs> I would have had six hundred gold in the treasury. <laughs> oh no! Wait, it's a tie. Uh, um. Yeah, can you forward this, actually? Hmm? Uh, which competitor should crown? Bias. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not biased. I have a good feeling. I feel like you're gonna win. <laughs> nice. Thanks, one and all. Soon the patricians won't be the only ones braving the ocean depths. Chapeau's little boat is soon ready. A new flag is added, bearing a huge, strangely discolored rendition of your face. <laughs> Perfect. Excitement builds. That's actually, that's on brand. It is, yeah. <laughs> Excitement builds as merchants and tourists flock to the starting town. Soon both boats embark on their journey. They look very small and flimsy against the vast ocean backdrop. Your Serene Highness, I understand you elected to sponsor Baroness Chapeau. Would you fancy a small wager since everyone says you're sh sure she'll win? I would love to. Uh, where shall you Gamble place your Gambling addiction. Bet? Goodness me, a brave monarch to bet against the traditions in the sea race. How much would you like to bet, your highness? A thousand. A thousand? <laughs> I have to. I knew it! <laughs> A thousand gold it is. Excellent. You won't regret this. There we go. You return to the capital to await news of the race. I'm sure that'll be fine. Silver discovered. You, you really should have picked the lower treasury gold. <gasps> Excellent news from the south, your holiness. Prospectors have discovered <laughs> deposits of s silver on my land. Mining will begin. <laughs> it's been one event. You're right. You're right. Akani looks good. Akani does look really good. Wait, wait, wait. Lord Patrician Robespierre waves an ancient parchment. The silver belongs to me. The deposit is on our side of the border, and this scroll proves it. Oh, this could get nasty, Your Majesty. The border between the south and the coast have always been highly contested. Hmm. Uh. What if I want the silver deposit? Uh... Monarch's vote. I think they should both share. Okay. Yeah. That would be best for everyone. Hi. <laughs> no, wait, why? Stability, stupid! You guys aren't even from Everyone's the coast. <laughs> You're not from the coast or the south. Why are you voting? Vote A. We are still part of the court, your highness. Oh my god. Oh my god, three-way tie. Alright, alright. They should share. Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. Boo! Boo! Don't boo me. I'm a good- I'm a boo. good king. Granny Connie and Lord Pichin Rosier, stop pulling me! <laughs> Exchange wary glances. As they shake hands, their smiles are very tight. They're smiling, that means they're happy. Stop! Why are you throwing tomatoes at me? This is such a dictator move to make you guys share. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a fair and just ruler. <laughs> Isakai okay. him? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's pick our honor guard now. Now that you're a monarch, you need personal protection. Why well, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? 
Please don't hurt me. <laughs> me and Honor Guard, keep you safe from such dangers, Your Majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. Hmm. What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. The Patricians with champion gladiators from the Reno. The Grandees with fierce battle nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel. And the Barons offer a squad of battle-hardened veteran soldiers. Think carefully, Your Majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. Battle nuns are kind of cool. Let's see. Let's see the battle nuns. <laughs> oh, they are. They do look really cool. Terrifying warriors, and they've sworn a vow of silence. So at least they won't spill state secrets. But their faith and loyalty is to the church above all. Even your safety. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the gladiators. Gang of lowborn crooks who turn themselves. Ew. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't trust them. Uh, veterans? These soldiers have fought more battles and they've had hot dinners. They'll be uncouth, no doubt, and won't adapt well to life in the palace, but they're loyal and tough as nails. I think I will pick... Uh... The nuns. Of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? Of, of course. Why? <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. the you like women who can bench lift you. What, what are you talking? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Battle nuns arrive in the palace a few <laughs> weeks later. They nod to the east silently, their solemn steel masks betraying nothing before filling, filing into formation behind your throne. Is that the end? <laughs> I think that's everything. Nobles can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region, each of which affects a stat. This is done through an auction, where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. Okay. I think you should move us to the bottom left corner, because you're kind of blocking the we're kind of blocking the interface. Oh, okay, hold on. We're kind of uh, blocking lower. the stats here. Lower. Good. Smaller. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. You look like talking. Uh, when the auction is open, almost can fund through the browser in increments of a hundred. When you're ready, hit the start option to begin the auction. Okay, before I start the auction, please don't, please don't buy the Me. present. Hold on, hold on, hear me out, hear me out. Everyone who votes for, um, the library, I will, I will not tax you if you vote for the library. I won't. You have to tax people no matter what. I will tax you very little if you vote for the library. If you vote for the prison, I'm going to tax you a lot. That's all I'll say. Oh, but. Library, library, library. No, who's doing that? Who's voting for the. That's Reyna. That's Reyna, isn't it? Please, please, please. <gasps> oh, we gotta vote for something else also. <laughs> we gotta- we can't have the library- or the prison. We can't have the prison, like, be the top two. Okay, almost, almost. We just need two- two hundred more. 300 more. Mm. <gasps> there we go. Okay. Now we need something else to get the prison out of there. No. No? No. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fine. It crosses each other out. We're okay. <laughs> I'm in tax cruelty. Oh, thank you, Lila. Thank you, Lila. She's been conditioned. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, oh, finding a spouse. Bankruptcy loans. Well, we're gonna ignore that for now. We're not gonna look at that. <laughs> in the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, nobles, even the spy master. But there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. Hmm. 
<laughs> Why have you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. Uh, I'm busy. You better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What's your preference? Men? Women? Or do you not mind? Uh, any. <laughs> Excellent. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. Okay. Uh, shady business. You're avoiding your bankruptcy. Hold on, I'm seeing if we have any opportunities to make money before we get oh, into that. Oliver looks great. Oh, Oliver looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Your Highness, I'm sure you'd be very concerned to hear the letter I had from Baroness Chapeau. Uh, I'm sure you don't need to worry about that, Your Serene Highness. Let's move on to a different vote. How about... No, I will speak. Chapeau writes... Happily, we're ahead of Lord Patrician Robespierre, but while we were making the most of our lead, I saw a coastal ship sneaking into a sheltered bay. Mm -hmm. I hate to speak ill of the patricians, but I looked very much like smugglers avoiding the capital's import fees. Oh. This, this is preposterous. Hearsay and gossip, nothing more. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. I will. Oh, okay. I want this one. <laughs> I, w I want this one, but I'll be fine with whatever you guys pick. <laughs> of course you would vote for that one. <laughs> I like money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, it's split. Mm. <gasps> Thank you, Lyle. Oh my gosh. Wait, why won't you give me money? Come on now. <gasps> oh! Oh, close. Uh... Wait, why didn't you guys give me money either? We're almost out. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some good sense from the council. No money for Rena is all that matters. I'm not even the king. The barons aren't happy, of course, but the patricians are delighted, and their smuggling only grows more blatant from that point on. Reports come in suggesting that Robespierre's progress Im is improving. Could it be that the smugglers are helping them? Who knows? See? The race continues onwards. You wait to hear more from the competitors. Holding a grudge for the last two times? I'm not even the king! <laughs> <laughs> They're taking revenge on you because they know you can't do anything. Uh, I guess we'll have to pick this one. I would have liked to have more money before I went into this. Yeah. One of them was <laughs> your own choice, though. Okay, but that was an investment. That's gonna... You'll see, we're In gonna... In terms of money, we have no money. In terms of money, we have 300 money, which is plenty. Okay. The treasury is almost empty, your highness. Mm -hmm. Where did it all go? <laughs> I couldn't possibly say, your majesty. Perhaps you've been spending a little too freely. Uh -huh. No, that can't be it. Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You can get a bank loan, or sell off the crown jewels, or perhaps crack open some of your predecessor's tombs. Most of them are buried with piles of gold or so, I've heard. Grave oh. robbing. Oh. Wait, I own the royal mint, don't I? Make more coins. That's 10,000? <gasps> That's a good idea. Okay, hold on. I'm pretty- wow, I'm pretty sure there is no consequence here. So lost from the royal jewelry to wealthier nobles. This seems like the best option because it doesn't look like anything goes down. Uh, take a hefty mm -hmm. loan from Solvent and Gall Bank. Crack open some tombs. I think you should crack open some tombs. But also 10,000 and the treasury would be so good. Won't that ruin the economy? Hmm? The Will what? That ruin the economy? No, the economy's strong. We're fine. Uh. I think we can handle it. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. I think you should still open the tombs. Yeah, I do want to grave rob. Buried gold isn't doing anyone any good, is it? Time to desecrate some graves. 
He ordered the royal mausoleums dug into and looted. The result is quite a bounty. Gold masks, heaps of coins, precious jewels. Not everyone is as practical as your treasurer, however. The church denounces you as a grave robber. <laughs> <laughs> no ones in peasants alike are disgusted by your greed. Listen, listen. They can't use it. They're dead. They're not going to use it for anything. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the end of the season already? Wait, hold on. Shoot. Uh... Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Taxation. Yeah, okay. Uh, what a beautiful yeah. stoplight. Wait, no. Oh. Wait. Um. Hey. Ooh. 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 Okay, I feel good about this. How many? Hold on, hold on. Let me think. How many nobles do we have? And in... okay, it's an even split. We're good. Very. I don't throw tomatoes at me. I promise, Lila, because Lila voted for the library. This is good. I have to. Ooh. I have to live up to my promises. Uh, you don't have to. Your your royalty. No, that's a principle. No silver. Triple um. down economics and I could get back to my community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandy, Connie, and Lord Patricia Robespierre arrive in the council chamber side by side. This is the third week in a row with no silver. Why are the miners spending all their time playing this rock ball sport anyway? Rock ball? Gone above. It was your miners who invented rock ball. I can't help that southern workers are competitive. Mm. It's a disaster. Even the miners who haven't broken their arms aren't getting any mining done. <laughs> Some choice of uncertain outcomes called challenges. Oh, okay. Uh, RNG. Oh, it's a 50 50 either way. <laughs> Vote for this one. What is rock ball anyway? Um, I assume it's like dodgeball but with rocks. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like that would be really interesting to see. Mm -hmm. That looks unanimous. Nice. A stoning? No, it's mutual. It's competitive stoning. The first annual Rockball Cup is an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> Previously, a mishmash of undocumented and ever-changing rules. Arguments around what Rockball actually is turns into bloody brawls. Nice. In the end, both grandees and petitions are forced to withdraw from the mine altogether before the conflict escalates further. Congrats on 300. <gasps> Congrats on 300! What do you mean? I have 300? Yeah! Oh my gosh, thank you guys! I have to play <gasps> Jump King now, I promise that also. Congratulations! Thank now you gotta you. celebrate! My shots are worth 10 points, oh my god. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. Yeah, Jump King stream, let's go! Uh, gosh. I don't even want to think about Jump King right now. Schmack <laughs> uh, news from the boat race here, August Majesty. Baroness Chapeau sent a letter telling me everything. About what? We beg for aid. My crew has turned against me. They're saying I'm working them too hard and there's no hope of winning anyway. Now they demand higher pay. They're Ew. threatening to throw me overboard. Fair labor? Wow. I beg for help. Every minute we argue, we lose time against Robespierre. <gasps> Great god, we must step in. These sailors can't be allowed to disrupt the race like this. Surely, 
Chapeau can't lead her own crew. That's on her. Why should she get special treatment? Because I'm sexy. Mm-hmm. This is... <laughs> this is... <laughs> this has already hurt her chances of winning the bet. Why should she be punished further? Uh... <laughs> <You just have. laughs> I will let you guys decide. Oh? You don't want to raise stability? Hmm? You don't want to pick the middle one? I feel like B would be a really good choice. Nah. Oh, it's tied. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's not tied. <laughs> <laughs> no! What are you guys doing? Wow, you guys are really that salty about <laughs> losing against me when I'm king? The barons are disgusted with the monarch's de decision. After a long Good. delay, Chapeau is forced to scrape together gold to promise to her crew. <gasps> no! No! Still, she remains behind Rospierre, and the race is nearly over. Wow, you guys? I'm not even the king! Oh no! You know what? I should have sent the military. <laughs> I forgot I have money riding on this race. Hmm. Eligible options. I found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each of the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. And a partner for life to have and to hold. Don't forget. I suppose yeah. so. But the alliance comes first. Your mother leads you to the Great Hall, where she's arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Alright. She mixes away the cloth from the first portrait. From the coast, we have Aurelia, Ew. wealthy heiress. <laughs> it's noble patrician, uh, a second skinwalker's estate. She's got a reputation for honesty and fair mindedness. That's rare among the coast. Her interests are typical of the coast money, 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 she and making more of it. <laughs> she does. She's said to be led by her passions, living in the moment with no thought for her reputation. Um, no. From the south, Fabian, the eldest heir of the Connie oh. lineage. They appear to have an ego the size of the sun, but there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? Like many in the south, they claim to put their faith in the ninth god above all worldly concerns. Actually, they're a little intense. They call themselves an avatar of the ninth justice. They're cute. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> oh. And finally we have the March's oh. offspring, Killian. Scion of this prestigious Oliver's bloodline. A typical baron, really. Loud and brash and self-absorbed, but mostly well-meaning. He can always be found at the card table, drunk as a skunk, betting away his inheritance. He loses all the time, which actually makes him a popular man to gamble with. Sounds like a douche. Never mind. Who do you think? <laughs> <clears throat> of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. Uh, I think I know. Who? Uh, Killian. Really? Why? Because you both have gambling addictions? No. <laughs> because it is. No, it's because the march is mad at me right now. <laughs> so I feel like if I do this, it'll make them feel better. Hmm. He might be really cool. We'll see. Hi, Connie! Hi, Connie. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Excellent. I'll make the arrangements. I don't want anyone's defiance too high, because then that's when people start to rebel. Rebels aren't a problem. Rebellions aren't a problem at all. Rebellions are a problem, especially when... No? Especially when your military is so high. I'm honestly worried about the march. While the monarch settles into their young reign, a general has risen in the march, the indomitable Baron Otto. Is it time? I'm eager to start my campaign. Not yet, general. We need the peasants to be truly living in fear for you to be their savior. 
It won't be long now. The council will make sure the kingdom is drowning in chaos. Then we will make our move. Baron's aim is to lower stability of four or less. Uh. Ah. <gasps> Royal Gamble. Plus 600 treasury oh if God. the nobles vote for the selected option. If the nobles vote otherwise, minus two treasury. Gambling addiction. <sighs> oh. I can use this. Can you? Uh, she's one of the current loss to replace. I don't really need Vito, huh? Really? Yeah. Vito's my favorite. No. Alright. I feel like it's not very fair. The end is near. Nothing's fair in politics. The coastal boat race is nearly at its close. I'm pleased to announce that Lord Patrician Robespierre is all set to win. Lamentably, things aren't, aren't going how the monarch bet. Uh, how exciting. Truly, this race is of utmost importance. On a completely unrelated oh. note, I have a shipment of grain that is due to intercept the racers any day now. If my ship got in the <laughs> way, who knows what might happen. I dare say the race's outcome could be altered. Of course, I could be convinced to alter the shipment's route instead. Your Seen Highness, we must put a stop to this shameless attempt to sabotage the race. Excuse wow. me. Okay, let me think. Have the barons pay for the ship to obstruct Lord Patricia Rosefear's path. Oh. Okay. This is my strategy. Either way, I'll win money from this. Excuse me? No, because if everyone votes to sabotage you, I'll still get 600 wealth. But if everyone pays to sabotage Rose Pierre, I still win. I win well, either way. I guess we'll see the cost. It's a win win situation. You say so. By voting B, you're giving me money, by the way. Any more votes? Oh my god, it's a tie. Any more votes? No, it's a tie. Oh, okay. It's done. Uh... <sighs> Bias. <laughs> I have money writing on this. I have a thousand gold. <laughs> what? No, this is an outrage. Grandy Lila's lumbering, lumbering ship makes a sl slow way in front of Robespierre's boat, blocking the way to the finish line. The Oops. grain makes it its way to Tavalin ahead of schedule. <laughs> Soon, nobles and peasants alike gather at the finish line, watching breathlessly as the winner arrives. Wait, he still wins? What? <gasps> he still won? Oh my god, excellent. No one can beat a patrician in a boat race. Now pay up, Chapeau. Oh my god, no! We both lost. I'm never setting foot in a boat again, you salty sea urchin. Regrettably, regrettably, your serene highness, you lost your bet. It was all good fun, wasn't it? Why are you even, like... Why are you doing this to me? Oh. I'm not even the king. Back on the coast, merchants flock to investigate Robespierre's boat and use the sailing technique to prove their own craft. I will get you guys for this in our next game when I'm king. Okay, I was I was trying to help you though, just remember that please. Mm. Though the race is over, it gripped the kingdom. Similar bets take place as far afield as Sol and Kurth. Some successful and others ending in watery deaths. Oh. Praying for the sins of your past life? What sin? Of being of having too much political intellect. <gasps> Brand new being harvester. a master of strategy. You're too good at the game. Uh, your esteemed highness, the scholars and Greek thinkers of the march have invented a new farming implement. Some kind mm. of horse-drawn machine that automatically reaps and threshes grain. They call it a wheat eater. 
and revolutionizing agriculture. Isn't that just a tractor? It would be of great use to us in the coast. Our farms are strong to keep up with demand, you know. No, fuck you guys. <laughs> we'll not share the designs with the likes of you, Coastal Leech. Yeah. Or, oh, wait, you should read this. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We deserve to reap its awards, not you! Uh. Force the barons to distribute the designs, compensate the barons for the invention and share it with the other regions. Leave the machines in the march only. Halt the production of these machines. They're in front to honest farmers everywhere. Mm hmm. This is my vote. No, that's because you said to touch the counts every time before I want. I didn't do anything. Looks like the Baron's picked the Baron choice. You mm -hmm. just need to blame your bad luck in RNG. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Don't vote for that, because I lose money. You should vote for that. The first one's kind of Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice! That's not even your goal, to lower the treasury. Why are you guys lowering the treasury? Uh, it prevents you from. No, I'm at though. 600. A fair <laughs> price, I suppose. Nice. Rewarded for their ingenuity, the barons are satisfied. As is everyone else who produces brand new wheat eaters for their farms at lightning speed. I see, I see. Down with the king. I haven't done anything wrong. I've done nothing wrong. Your wedding to Killian is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend for a week and a day. The capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernard... Ber Ber Saint <laughs> <You did too. laughs> Stop. St. Bertrand's <laughs> Cathedral with Killing at your side. Do you take this man t as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And I pronounce you married in the eyes of the kingdom. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. Your new husband, Killian, dances so vigorously that he spills wine all over himself. Oh my god. By the fa- the, the, the. <laughs> By the time you find yourself alone with Killian, it's past midnight, and you've never felt more tired. <clears throat> Good god, I am so drunk, and yet somehow, not drunk enough. Time for more wine. Sounds like a fuckboy. Sir, so bring us wine. <gasps> That's the spirit. Um, <laughs> what do you like to do in your spare time? Drinking, gambling, having fun, basically. Huh. Uh, what did you think of the wedding? It was beautiful from start to finish, wasn't it? I had a whale of a time. Okay. That's a good attitude to have. Yeah, I like him. No time like the present, hmm? He swigs back the last dregs <laughs> of his wine and le leads you to bed. Oh. We went to bed. We didn't do anything else. That's it. Uh-huh. We're very safe so. <laughs> Working on the air now, huh? Stop. <laughs> In the south beneath the In the south beneath the scorching sun, Grandy Connie strolls through her vineyard in the company of a few close friends. Our plans are going better than expected. The spy master thinks that all is well in the kingdom, and while the cat's away, the mice shall play. Please don't dishonor me by comparing me to a mouse. Speak plainly or not at all. I apologize, my friend. In plain terms, then, our next step is to replace the palace watch with our own agents. We already control the honor guard. If we can buy the loyalty of the watch, we will have complete control of the palace. For the next stage of their scheme, oh, the grandees must lower the treasury to wait. 1500 or less in two winning? seasons. Wow, I wonder, I wonder whose fault that is. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The coast economy has never been better. We're making more money than I know what to do with. Money breeds money. I've made a series of investments to improve our profits even more. Oh. What do we do with all the rest oh. of this gold? 
Time to start buying things, of course. Land, roads, bridges. We'll buy up the whole kingdom, piece by piece. But first, the monarch must be in desperate need of gold. Wait a second. <laughs> to advance their scheme, the patricians must lower the treasury to 1500 <laughs> or less in two seasons. I see. Mm hmm. End season. <laughs> Debt collection? Oh my god. Uh -oh. The council session has ended for the day, so you're quite surprised when noble patrician, a second skinwalker, corners you in the, <laughs> a back passenger castle just before dusk. Oh, he's handsome. Always a pleasure, your serene oh, highness. Apologies for surprising you like this. But I have an urgent matter that I thought you'd want to hear in private before I go to the council. Oh no! <laughs> oh, huh. Your husband, the King Concert. How can I put this? He owes me a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Gambling debts, mainly. Borrowed quite a lot for me to recover some lost funds. But now it's time to collect, and he's been avoiding me. <laughs> Two thousand! The economy's in shambles! Okay. Okay, hold on. You're under arrest. <laughs> oh, really? The petitions don't look too favorably on your unwarranted arrest, but a few nights in the darkest cell of the dungeon are enough to persuade the second skinwalker that it's their best interest to let these debts go. <laughs> to release them once an agreement has been reached, they'll think twice for threatening the king consort again. Oh. I'm sh he'll start winning eventually. He'll start winning eventually. Uh... And... Ah, uh, Sylvain, my heart, I have a proposition for you. I'm heading t to a split uh... tournament. <laughs> oh my god. I uh -huh. married the worst person. I, I, I did say... Okay, maybe... Maybe he'll... Maybe he won't make money from us. I'm heading to a split tournament in a few months. It's one of the foremost in all the kingdom. Wanna join me? Yeah, I'll w come watch you play, cause I know, I know that if I come support you, you're gonna win a whole bunch of money. Uh... Fantastic, I'm uh, looking forward to it. Guys, we're winning without doing anything. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you punished an innocent man for your concert's past mistakes. Listen... Uh, I we're listening. I'm the- I'm- I am- I am the monarch, I can do what I want. Anyway, jousting tournament. Rebel! <laughs> Hold on! Hold on. Your Majesty, the Barons of the March have invited you to his jousting tournament. How delightfully rustic. Uh... I will compete. I want to compete in the tournament. Uh-huh, there's that gambling addiction again. It's not gambling, I didn't say I'm spending money. <laughs> Maybe it'd be better to just support a knight, actually. Mm. The Chancellor inclines their head politely. It wouldn't be my ideal day out, Your Majesty, but I'm sure you will have a marvelous time. Alright, end season. Okay. I would really like for you guys to not buy the prison? Mm. That's- that's it. <laughs> oh, okay, someone- someone put money on the prison. Put my life savings into this. You guys have so much money, you can buy other things, please. Anything else? Anything else that is in the prison? Why are you guys spending money on the prison? Guys, please, please. I will, I will not tax you. I will not tax you if you guys get the prison out of here. No taxes. No taxes for whoever votes for anything that is in the prison. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, we're safe. Nope. Vote for B. Don't vote for B. It's too late. It's done. Vote for B. Ah. Uh... Thank you. No taxes for anyone. Uh, one or more regions are able to rebel. As their defiance stat is higher than both authority and stability. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. That's fine. The petitions don't have a military, so we're good. There are other ways they could rebel against you. About my heir. Yeah, I have an heir now. Your marriage to killing is grow strong and steady like an old castle wall. Though it began as a wow. political arrangement, it's blossomed into something like love. It's high time you thought about an heir. They bonded over gambling. Being poor... Um, really bonds people together. Mm -hmm. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. Uh, I'm very happy, thank you. Your happiness isn't as important as fulfilling your duty to the kingdom. Wow. But I'm glad you found a way to have both. Thank you, Mom. You've done well so far, but something's still missing. An heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick. Even if they're a bastard or the youngest of your many cousins. Uh, I want to have a child with my husband. Wow, pregnancy, the ultimate gamble. Mm hmm. The traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can get down to business. Yep, we're gonna wait for the stork to appear and bring us a baby. That's how the it's gonna happen. Gamble. <laughs> Rumors of bribery. Wait, hold on. Uh. Is someone rebelling? Who's rebelling right now? <laughs> Your Majesty, I've heard some disconcerting whispers about Granny Connie of the South. She's been discreetly offering coin to your palace watch. Just gifts, she says. Gifts of enough coin to retire with. <laughs> wow. I had no idea Connie was so generous. <laughs> the palace watch have been grumbling about their low wages recently. If we don't give them a raise, these bribes will look very appealing. Unfortunately, we can't give them anything with the treasury as low it is, as it is. We need to bring this matter to the council, your majesty. Very well, assemble them at once. By the ninth, you don't have to sh a shred of proof for any of this. Don't make me laugh. I trust the rest of the council will join me in scorning these lies. Um... I need money. <laughs> That's my choice. Anybody who picks A will get money. 500. <gasps> money! <laughs> interesting. Interesting vote, Lila. <laughs> and Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Voting is done. Wait, it tied? <gasps> oh. Well, I'm gonna pick this one. <laughs> <laughs> you order the mint to produce more coins. The sunrise and inflation causes food prices to rise enough to leave thousands starving. Yeah, inflation! Most of the extra cash goes straight to the palace watch. Hopefully this will buy their loyalty. I should have taken that 10,000 gold when I had a chance. Hold on. Are the patricians... Are the all the patricians rebelling against me right now? Mm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Attempting offer. Uh, Your Majesty, it has come to my attention that across the kingdom there are all, there are all manner of roads, bridges, walls, canals, and what do they all have in common? Um, they're expensive. Exactly, Your Majesty. And yet they make you no money. I'm willing to take them off your hands, saving you the cost of upkeep and pay you handsomely in return. Ask your treasurer, it makes perfect financial sense. That does make a lot of sense. What 
did I need to lower it to? I need more money. <gasps> Not so fast, Your Majesty. We don't need the money. And selling this much public property would be an invitation to disaster. The sudden interest of the patricians in public property is quite suspicious. Perhaps we should call a council vote? Uh, interesting. I would really like more money. Hmm. You guys will get pain if you pick A. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, three, two, oh, good. Yes. We're safe, we're safe. If these roads and bridges can pay for themselves, then surely we <laughs> won't need to sell them off. That's the logic. Unfortunately, in practice, it makes everyone extremely angry. <laughs> Soon, nobles and peasants <laughs> alike are calling for your head on a spike. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Uh, end season. General, fantastic news. We're ready to move forward with the plan. The kingdom is in such a state that commoners are begging for someone to save them. All we need is suitable boogeymen to get them really riled up. The Ashmedean Ashmi Empire will do, I should think. After all, they've always coveted our lands, especially in the march. And how would our dear monarch stop them with the kingdom in such a state? Good thinking, General. While your campaign warns of the Ashmedeans' threat and proposes a march for defense, we will build an army to back your words. For the next stage of the Baron's scheme, they must have the highest military in three seasons. Um, yeah, they're, they're done. Meanwhile, in the south, Grandy Connie has invited her close associates to her manor house for some wine and cheese. And treason. I want cheese. I would also like some cheese. The palace watch won't accept our bribes. The treasury is practically overflowing. They don't need our money. And I suppose they ran straight to the spymaster to spoil the plot, too. Most unfortunate. Is this the end? Even St. Javine waited 60 days and 60 nights before she smote the blasts from her king. We will abide our time and strike again when the monarch least expects it. Randy stack goal is to lower the treasury to fifteen hundred or less. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a bench outside a sunbleached villa, two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The thrice cursed monarch is still refusing to sell us any public land. It makes sense. The treasury is flush with coin right now. Patience, my friend. Let's bide our time until the monarch's goal runs out. The patricians aim to lower the treasury to fifteen hundred or less. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Um, I'm gonna go yeah, ahead and yeah, do feel. this. Oh, I can only do what? cruel tax to. Oh yeah, when uh, so when a faction is rebelling, you can't change their tax, and they can't vote. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, and I will. I don't need to give you a bribe. What? I mean, your defiance is so low. I don't think you guys are gonna rebel against me. Yeah, you guys are fine. Actually, I'm gonna tax you. <laughs> what? Why? I need money. I need money. You don't need that much. Why? Because of your gambling addiction? I mean... Maybe. I might need it. <laughs> I don't know, my husband's losing so much money. We were supposed to be heading to the tournament th together next week. A shame that's off the table now. Oh, yeah, oh. the rebellion. Let's go anyway. We can't. Baron Oliver was supposed to host and he's already called it off. Are, wait, is Oliver on the Patricians? Oh no, he's on the Barons. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let's go anyway. No. Um. What if we just played at home this evening? <gasps> Killian's face lights up. Really? Why, that's a wonderful idea. You and Killian spend an evening away from battle maps and war reports 
to enjoy each other's company or some good wine and good food. It's more than could have asked for at a time like this. That's kind of cute. That is really cute. <laughs> okay, let's see how the rebellion's doing. At long last, the patricians have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in your home room, in your throne room, by noble patrician, a second skinwalker. Their smile gleaming in the light of the braziers. The patricians of the coast will bring you down, pretender to the throne. We will rise up and fight for uh, Nyx, a true monarch. Oh, hmm. nice. Interesting. This is a formal declaration of war. The next time we see each other, we'll be on the battlefield. Um. Oh, I guess I'll put authority down. These are both bad choices. <laughs> there will be many heads on spikes before this war is over. Mine will not be among them. Hmm. Noble partition, a second skinwalker, strides from your throne room without looking back. I didn't expect them to move so boldly, your majesty. What are our chances against the rebels? The patricians are formidable, but not undefeatable. I hope they don't persuade any other regions to join the rebellion. That would be disastrous. The leader of the rebellion is Lord Patrician Norms Pierre. He sang your past trinket bleh. He sang your past transgressions as reason for the uprising. Your greedy plundering of the royal tombs. Mm -hmm. Sponsoring Ropes Pierre's opponent in the boat race. Just those two things? <laughs> Not to mention the time you jailed the noble for trying to collect some debts. Really? Because of that? Well, that's their excuse. In reality, it's not about you. It's a power grab. Hmm. That's right, your majesty. The kingdom is divided. There will be a lot of death and suffering before all this is over. <laughs> Let the crush them. Okay, I can't wait. I'll go dig out the trebuchets. <laughs> With the march by my side, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. We'll see. Uh, do you smell that, my friend? Sorry, I think I stepped in some... That's freedom you can smell. Freedom from the mad tyrant, Monarch Sylvain. At long last, we've risen up against their oppression. I have not done anything wrong. But if we <laughs> want to keep our freedom, we must fight for it. I ask you, my fellow patricians, what will be our opening strike against the Monarch? We can launch a preemptive strike against the barons to cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect that grandees may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be more likely to join us if the monarch's authority is low. Oh no. Oh. We can also call upon the church to condemn the monarch, or finally, we could send off an assassin to nip this in the bud. Oh no, you guys have so much money. Please don't send an assassin after me. <laughs> who's who's there? Rose Pierre. Oh, Grandy's could. Please. Look, the Grandy's one can actually. I know, I know, that can rebel. If RNG doesn't hate Lila this time. <gasps> they didn't vote. <gasps> oh, it's a tie. Please don't be an assassin. Oh my god, thank you. Call upon the grandees. Oh, and they failed! The petitions attempt to smuggle a secret message to the grandees, but your watch intercept it and bring it to you. You scan the letter, muttering under your breath at the audacity of the rebels to join your loyal. Audacity of the rebels to court your loyal grandees. Absolute poppycock. You read the message aloud at the next council session in a mocking voice. The grandees laugh uproariously, especially after you shoot them a particularly stern glance. Claire. Ha 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 Nobody else is allowed to rebel. That's a new law. Can't tell us what to do. Uh... Hmm... Most respond for their least favorite option. Adopt this one. Mm. And I'll replace uh Oh, okay never mind. <laughs> uh 
favorite competitor. I'm really to say that the jousting tournament has been put on hold. All the fun things I wanted to do are cancelled now. Thanks, you guys. I was looking forward to it. It's for the best, Your Majesty. The jousting instructors have joined the Baron's forces to train the cavalry. Rather be better than spending nice. all that time on contests, isn't it? Darn. Uh, let's do mustering an army. Along the coastal border, countless flags flap in the sea breeze. Warships crowd the harbors, unloading hordes of soldiers. The patrician troops are gathering in vast numbers. Oh, you're still rebelling, patricians. Mm -hmm. Oh, ninth above. Think of the expense. Each of these soldiers is another mouse to feed, and it's coming from our pockets. Let's march them off as quick as possible, please. We're risking more than our profits in this war. Our necks are on the line, so we better be smart about it. And on that subject... I've considered several proposals to further bolster our army for the trials ahead. Alright, mm. let's see what you got, patricians. You guys have to raise your military so Reyna doesn't win. <laughs> let's see. Oh. At the cost of trade, I see. Interesting. These Ashmedean mercenaries can come highly recommended, but can we really absorb the cost? Their price is extortionate. Of course we can. This is the price of victory. Think of the future returns. Mm. When the Ashmedean mercenaries arrive on the coast, it becomes apparent how different their customs are from the locals. They pray to Kaldovaga, the machine god, and attempt to remind him that the world exists. They claim their swords are alive and will grow angry if she's for too long. They bathe every single day. <laughs> but they're wow. perfectly capable of enacting hideous violence in exchange for money, and that's all the patricians need from them. Interesting. Okay. Great battle. Is bathing every single day a bad thing? No. In medieval times, they think it's weird. Mm -hmm. Um, vast armies darken the landscape like the shadows of clouds. Flags are flying, drums are pounding in rhythm with the marching of boots. The kingdom is gripped with civil war. At least that's what you imagine. Most of your time is spent in the safety of your palace, poring over a giant map with your marshal. Your Majesty, the army of the coast is advancing on the capital, led by that treacherous cur, Lord Patrician Robespierre. I received word from the commander of our loyalist forces in the march. If they march now, they'll intercept the Patricians in a matter of days. Alternatively, they could join forces with the army of the south. It's risky, but together they'd have a higher chance of being the cursed Patricians. What are your orders, Your Majesty? Hmm. hmm. I think the barons can take them. I don't know. I don't think we need to take that risk. Uh, Very well, your majesty. Well, I mean, if your army uh, goes down, then that's good for me still. Excuse me! Very well, your majesty. I'll relay your orders to Baron Oliver, the commander of the field. Hopefully they do as they're told. God knows treachery can thrive on a battlefield. We have our orders, but should we follow them? Oh wait, can you... <laughs> <laughs> forget forget I said that thing that I said. Hmm. I didn't know you had a choice. Hmm. Oliver, Oliver, pick A, please. <sighs> no. <laughs> what you did. The whole city holds its breath. You stew in your palace, waiting for your marshal's return. Finally, she bursts into your throne room. She looks more furious than you've ever seen her. Your majesty, the cowardly barons defied your orders and turned their army around to link up with the grandees. Probably afraid of facing a real fight on their own, yeah. 
Hmm. It's tactical. I can only hope this was the right decision. Have your some have some confidence, Your Majesty. Too late for doubts now. It'll all come down to the next battle, Your Majesty. The fate of the kingdom hangs in the balance. We will prevail. That's a spirit. Now I really must be going. I have a lot to take care of. Over the next few weeks, it becomes clear that the Marcher Army's retreat has given the patricians free reign to pillage and plunder the march. The rampaging okay. coast of troops it. sent on farms like locusts, taking everything to feed thousands of hungry soldiers. Meanwhile, shops, churches, and manors are plundered, and stolen loot shipped back to the coast. Oh. While the march suffers, the marcher forces successfully link up with the Grandias. Now that the joint army of the barons and the Grandias rush to meet the Persians in open warfare, and the winner will either end your reign or preserve it. End season. <laughs> no victory on either side yet. <gasps> My heir! I win! I win! Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Uh, should I die? I ask that my crown be passed down too? You crown don't hall. win yet. The council hall is filled with nervous silence. Uh, my child. Several nobles break out into polite applause. By designating heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Your Highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your child? What is her name? Sylvain the second. Huzzah, my liege. I'm sure little Sylvain will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Huzzah! Congratulations on finding air. Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. <laughs> Expect a visit from the spy master soon. It's fine. Everything will be fine. Uh, sickness spreads. Your Highness, a terrible sickness is spreading among my troops in the march. <laughs> Get away from me. Uh, what can we do about it? If we let the disease run its course, we'll have lots of we have lost we will have that. We'll have lost a lot of soldiers we can afford to lose. But I'm not sure how much we can do. Perhaps the council can see a way forward. Hmm. Send medical doctors from Quail University. Hi, a wizard to cure the marcher troops with magic. Quarantine the disease and order the healthy to leave them behind. Do nothing to stop the spreading of the sickness. <gasps> okay, here's my strategy. Even if you lower our military, that will make you lose. Yeah. If I use Royal Gamble on this one... It'll only cost me 300 from the treasury if everyone picks A. So we're gonna do that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, looks good. Oh, the patricians don't get to vote this time, huh? Patricians can't vote because they're rebelling. Mm -hmm. If you rebel, you can't vote. I see. I know how to treat the sickness, your majesty. It's a simple remedy. Garlic, wormwood, and spleen of goat. And we mustn't forget leeches. Lots of leeches. Of course, gathering enough ingredients to treat a whole army doesn't come cheap. At a great expense, expense you spend the best stock... You send the best doctors from Quail University Donks. out to the march to cure your troops. Hopefully they're worth the money. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! The doctors get to work with their leeches and bizarre concoctions. Some of your soldiers even benefit from the treatment. But it quickly becomes clear that doctors are fighting a losing battle. Especially after they also catch the sickness. By the time the sickness- No! <laughs> 
By the time the sickness oh. has finished cutting through the marcher troops, hundreds of soldiers are dead, and morale among the survivors has plummeted. Rebels gain one victory point. Okay, it's not looking the best for us right now. A month ago, battle was averted, but that battle cannot be that cannot be postponed forever. The barons and the grandees are all that stand between the Patricians and the capital. Final battle, deciding the fate of the kingdom. I'll send word to the grandees that it's time to strike. We can only hope they'll listen to our orders, your majesty. Uh, A. A, please. Everyone pick A. We, we can't let the patricians win, you guys. Lila, why? <laughs> Lila, why would you do that? <gasps> Lila, what? You, you realize this will make you lose, right? This is mutiny. Lila, no! <laughs> you send off your marshal with your orders and wait anxiously to hear the outcome of the battle. The next few days are agony. When she finally returns, she's so angry it takes her a full 20 minutes to stop swearing and making incomprehensible threats. Yeah, but I want to see a successful rebellion? No, Lila! <laughs> oh my god. And after that, I'll set fire to the ashes. <gasps> no! No, the grandees can rebel now, too. Oh, no! Uh... Did everything go according to plan? No. No, your majesty. Everything did not go according to plan. Instead of engaging the enemy, as we told them to, the cowardly grandees and the Craven barons just hung back, stayed out of the way. They allowed the troops and patricians to march right by, probably gave them a cheery wave, and now they're nearly at the capital, and there's no way to stop them. What? But why? A healthy mix of cowardice, self-interest, and a lack of confidence in your abilities, I assume. They're hedging their bets and waiting to see who comes out on top. Oh my god. We're defenseless now. The coastal army will be camped outside the city walls in a matter of weeks. If you want to see the year's end, we must build up fortifications, stockpile food, train up citizens, militia. It's time to pray to the ninth, your majesty. Because apart from him, we're on our own. Oh, this looks bad. This looks bad. I, um... <laughs> this looks bad. I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, in the Grand Hall of Baron Oliver's Castle, a number of figures are hunched around the hearth, plodding away. The crowds have been thinning out at my rallies. What happened? Shortages of money and manpower throughout the military are making you look weak, General. It's difficult. But with the war and all, we're trying your best to plug the gaps, though. Best be quick about it. My speeches can only carry us so far. The Baron's aim is to have the high highest military. Gosh. Okay. I have no money. How did the patricians have so much money? I have no money. Because their the color trade is at a ten. Ugh. Okay, grandees, please. I've been bribing you guys so many times. Why? 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 Why have you turned against me? I don't understand. Start auction. I forgot. I can't vote. <laughs> I guess we'll uh, have to pray. Uh, can the no? Can the patricians? Oh yeah, I think they can. Can mm. they? I think so, yeah. Oh wait, no, they can't. Maybe. I don't know. Vote for, vote for B, please. <laughs> no! Wait! No, you guys can't! If you guys vote for... 
the theater, we're gonna lose. We're all gonna lose. Guys, if you vote for E, the game is over. Like, no one wins if you guys vote for E. Oh yeah, that's true. You're, it was nice you guys... <laughs> Patricians, you don't win either. The kingdom's done. <laughs> oh. I guess we all lose. <laughs> well, well, well. You were so close to winning the rebellion! <laughs> Why would you do that? The consequences of their own actions. <laughs> uh. Uh, what well, ho, your majesty. Do you have a moment? Of course, always. Uh, I've spoken to my fellow barons and we are all in agreement. You are not capable of leading us to victory in this war. Yes. I spoke to the grandees and they've come to the same conclusion. We think it would be best if you step down before the realm suffers any further. Are you suggesting that I abdicate? Not a suggestion, your highness. We've already sent word to Lord Patrician Robespierre. He's agreed to a truce if you step down. I'm sorry, your majesty, but this is your only choice. You've lost the confidence of your vassals. Abdicate or face a kingdom united against you. Goodbye. I surrender. The next morning, every noble in the kingdom turns up to see you sign the abdication papers. The stands are packed to the brim, with Lord Patrician Robespierre sitting front and center, smiling smugly. Ding, you, ding, on the other hand, ding. made a front for it the night before. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Shame. I honestly don't Shame. know which one to pick. No, I'll I'll abdicate with grace and dignity. Very you, well. You ignore the snickers and the whispers. You're nothing if not dignified. And sit down to sign. The Chancellor offers you a sympathetic look as the paper is placed before you. The bank the the ink has barely left your quill before Lord Patricia. Uh. Uh. Oh, there we Did go. Did someone Disconnect. Mm -hmm. The app is like very click. finicky sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. has barely left your quill before Lord Patrician ropes the air, whisks it away, and holds up, hold, whisks it away to hold up before the council. Cheer goes up. Whoop. The civil war has come to a peaceful, mostly bloodless end. Now, who's to be successor? The council dissolves instantly into a massive argument. You oh. slink out the back door. Ah. <sighs> uh. No one wins. During a rebellion, oh, oh the loyalists aside, the rebel the rebels had the right idea about Mark Sullivan. They were forced to abdicate and fled across the ghost sea. The barons withdrew support, and the wave of popular momentum behind oh Jim Otto petered out. He is soon just another bitter old soldier ranting that he could could have been king. The grandees attempt to warn warm their way into the palace was uncovered, and a number of arrests were made. Granny Connie ended her life chained upside down to a dungeon wall. With the monarch's credibility in tatters, Nyx, leader of the Coastal Rebellion, seized the moment and seized the throne. I guess the magicians win. Oh, I guess the magicians do win. So <laughs> brave robber. That's what I'm remembered for. Yeah. I only did it once. I only did it once. And you guys forced my hand. It was not my fault. It was not my fault at all. Uh huh. Let's see your other stats. No? Mm -hmm. uh, we survived for like two years, two and a half years. Spouse, successor. Wealthiest noble was Ropes here with 2,950. That's like the money he got from you from the bet, I think. Uh, the first noble was Chappelle. <laughs> Shut the. Mm hmm hmm. King you guys of are sets. so petty. Oh, the Jesus guy one. Oh yeah, that's right. Gosh. Good. The patricians did so well that round. 
Uh, that was stressful. Mm hmm. And fun. That was fun. You guys feel better that you actually won this time? I mean, you guys beat me, and that's not very hard to do, so you shouldn't be too proud of yourselves. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. This was fun, though. It was good. Yeah, it was fun. This time the spotlight was enough. It's, it's much more stressful to be the monarch. Ugh. It is. If we're even. Alright, we'll see <laughs> we're... in our next match. With me. Wait, how does how does making me lose make you even with Rena? No, because I they because I didn't win and they made me the poorest noble. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should do this again. I love this game. I do too. Maybe uh, sometime <laughs> next week we can play again. Maybe, yeah. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and end things here for now, guys. Uh, yay! 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 <laughs> uh, you don't have anything planned for the rest of the week, right? I do not. I have the week off. Oh my god, that's such a coincidence, because I also have the rest of the week off. I know, right? <laughs> Weekly King of the Castle Night, that's... I'm actually considering that. <laughs> it's fun. It, it really is fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the very least, I think we should have, like, a weekly community night game. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna end things here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys all on the next adventure. Ah. Hmm? Is there anything you want to say, Rena? No, I just said bye to everybody. <laughs> Alright. Bye guys, good night, mm -hmm. good night. Good night. <laughs>